Some of you may have noticed that I use a Garmin cycling computer on my rides. So these little devices are handy for displaying useful information such as distance, elevation, as well as tracking my rides on Strava. But what these devices don't do well is help navigate you through unfamiliar trails. Sure, you can download these GPX maps and load them onto the device, but the screen is small and the interface is a throwback to the 1990s. There are more sophisticated models with touchscreens but they're expensive and the interface pales in comparison to one of these. What if I told you that you can build a live trail navigation device with all the sophistication of a smartphone for hundreds less than a cycling computer? So full disclosure, I got this idea from an episode of the Path Podcast. If you're not already subscribed to this awesome group of mountain bikers, you definitely should. And I'll leave a link in the description below. To get the sophistication of a smartphone, you're going to need a smartphone. If you've got a leftover smartphone in your kitchen drawer, you're halfway there. If not, the options are endless. You can purchase an older Android phone on eBay or other used phone sites, but chances are it won't be shock or water resistant. And for that, I hit the open market and quickly realized there are no shortage of options or form factors available. So one thing to keep in mind is that not all these cheap phones include a GPS sensor. So do your homework before pulling the trigger. I eventually settled on this Plum Gator 3 for about $90 on Amazon. It's got a 4 inch screen which is tiny by today's standards, but this phone runs Android 6.0 which is perfect for the app I'm about to load on it. That's right, I'll be using the Trail Forks app as the main software on this device. It's got the ability to download maps offline which is key because I won't be using a SIM card for this device. I'll also be installing Strava to record my rides which will also work offline. We're going to need a way to mount this onto the bike, so for that, I'll be using this kit that I bought on eBay for less than $10. It uses a stick-on mount that's compatible with standard Garmin units, and includes this steer tube mount that allows the device to sit right above your stem. With everything set up, I went into the Trail Forks app and forced it to keep the screen on at all times. Even with the screen at full brightness, battery life has been really impressive because the device is essentially in airplane mode the entire time. So there you have it, a live navigation device that leverages all the useful data from Trail Forks for about $100. This will definitely come in handy when I'm exploring new trails. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one.